All right, how's it going guys? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna be going over Egyptian hieroglyphs. So let's get going. All right, um, I like to do this project normally with second grade. It's a little too advanced for them. So instead I'm boosting it up to third grade. So anyways, here we go. So over here, I have an example of a project I did long ago uh, of ancient hieroglyphs using uh, the hieroglyphic uh, alphabet, I guess I want to say. I don't know how to call it. Anyways, um, <laughs> so in order to do this project, we need to draw the slate. Uh, obviously, we can't carve or chisel on stone. So let's draw that first, and I'll teach you guys how to do lettering going down with the ancient hieroglyphs. So let's do that first. So I'm going to move my paper aside. So what you're going to need is a blank sheet of paper and something to draw with. As always, I always highly suggest a pencil. Uh, but for me, since it's easier for you guys to see at home and through video, I will be doing this in marker instead. So with that said, uh, first step, I want to draw kind of like a rectangular shape for the slate. And uh, the best way I can describe how to do this is just to draw kind of like a rectangle first. So I'm going to draw two lines on each side. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to curve the top. And then I'm going to curve the bottom just like this. And then since I want it to be more three-dimensional, kind of like how I have over here, I'm going to space out the edges just like so. That way it has a little bit of a cool border. And if you want to make your border a different shape or wavy or pointy or something like that, you guys can do that as well. So I'm not going to go all the way around when it comes to the bottom. Uh, as you can see here in my example, we're going to be filling that in with something else. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to try to pre pretend that there is a connecting line right there. But instead, I'm going to go a little bit lower. So I'm going to go right here and draw a line right there. And then with that line, I'm going to go all the way to the side and come back and stop right there. And then do the exact same thing on the other side and come back. And then with that said, I'm going to kind of create a wrapping around the bottom. So I'm just going to do that with vertical lines. And it doesn't matter how many you do, just as long as you reach the end, right about there. Ta-da! All right, so now we have a stone tablet and somewhere where it can sit and it's wrapped with like a rope, I guess. I don't know. So anyways, in order to do this, all I did was I looked up a simple way how to do hieroglyphs using this example sheet right here. So if I hold this like this, you can kind of tell what I tried to write. I wrote down Mr. Mills. So let's take a look at this. So we have the whole entire alphabet. And each letter of the alphabet is represented with a shape or an icon. And as you can see, if you uh, kind of like um, spell it out um, in your own way, you can kind of create like a hidden message kind of. So over here, I wrote down Mr. Mill. So in order, I do, in order for me to do that, I had to find every single letter and try to convert that into icons or whatever it has depicted over here. So the M is this symbol right here. And then the R was kind of like an I symbol. So I drew that right there. And then since that's Mr, the next letter was Mill. So Mill, so M. So I had to draw another one of those symbols right there, followed by an I, which is represented by like a reverse kind of triangle like that. And then finally the L was a little bit tougher for me because that was represented by a lion. So with this project, I want you guys to write a word of your choice, it could be your name, uh, down, okay? So just like how we copy in ancient Egy Egyptian hieroglyphs, I don't know why I started right there, sorry. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the exact same thing because I don't wanna do another word. I kinda like doing Mr. Mill again. I might do something else. Actually, no, let's do something else because I already did Mr. Mill. Why don't I do my favorite subject? My favorite subject is music. I like music a lot. Um, well, besides art, art's too short. So I'm gonna do something a little bit longer using five characters. So music it is. So for music, I have to do that same M. So I'm gonna do that in, let's try a different color. Why don't I do orange? So I have to have room for five characters. So I'm gonna make sure I space it out evenly. So why don't I do the M up here? So instead of drawing a letter M, I have to draw the symbol for M. As I can see on my sheet. Okay, so you know what? Why don't I put this right here? So if you guys are doing it with me, at least you guys can see it on screen, what I'm doing. So let me just double check, and there we go. So music has a U, so I gotta draw a little duck. I think that's a duck. I'm trying the best I can. Whoop. 
making sure I don't reach the bottom of the page. There we go. And then S. S is just kind of like a cane. And then the I is a play button, kind of reversed. And then the C is a solid cane. So I didn't plan this out as best as I could. So that's why uh, if you do this in pencil, it might work better in your favor. That way you can like center it properly. But that's basically hieroglyphs. So anyways, I'm going to color it in as best as I can. If you want to use your own technique of how to color it, you can. Uh, I'm going to use patterns, so I'm going to be using different types of elements of art here. So maybe I'll do maybe some triangles everywhere on the inside, just like so. And notice how I change colors and material. That way it doesn't interfere by reading the hieroglyph. Okay. And what's cool about this project is kind of like you can kind of give... Uh, a guest of yours that you want to show off your hieroglyph to you can kind of give them this sheet or show them this sheet right there and then you can tell them to guess what you wrote and then you can probably have them do it in their mind instead or your mind I don't know what I'm saying <laughs> but uh, it's a pretty fun project and I hope you guys enjoy it so over here I'm just gonna finish off what I'm doing by making a bunch of triangles kind like of doing right there all right, so I have the inside done. Maybe for the outside, I want to do some stripes. So I will choose a proper color for stripes. Maybe I'll do this color. As a matter of fact, why don't I curve them a little bit? Angle. Make it look like a candy cane. No one says you can't make ancient Egyptian hieroglyphs fun. So that's why I want to do sideways stripes to make it look like candy cane. I mean, I didn't do it on purpose, but... <laughs> It looks great. All right, if I really wanted to, I guess I can color the inside. I'll see if I have time. And maybe for the bottom portion, maybe I'll do, maybe I'll do green. Maybe I'll just color it in solid. There we go. And then for the wrapping, maybe I'll choose, huh, why don't I do this color? And then color every other one. Are. And then the other side, I'll do hot pink. <laughs> that's so cool. All right, my picture's almost done. I do want to color a little bit more, so that's what I'm going to do, preferably. Um, I think I'm going to use a silver. And I'm going to try to do my best to avoid my triangles. So, I mean, I could have taken the easy route and colored the triangles instead, but I figured if I colored opposite, it'll give it more of a... Uh, more of an interesting look to it. And maybe I want to color the triangle something different. Maybe I want to color them yellow. Maybe I will color them yellow. So anyways, here we go. Oh yeah, I'm glad I chose the silver. It looks really cool. And notice how I'm avoiding my hieroglyphs because I don't want to cover them. Maybe I want to color them too. Uh, I don't know. But in this case, I'm gonna leave them blank. <laughs> I want to make sure that people can see it pretty obviously. So anyways, if you didn't know what word I was doing, if you weren't paying attention, it's the word music. And uh, on this old example, I did the word Mr. Mill. But um, I think these two projects turned out pretty well. But I was going to have you guys print out um, a worksheet like this, but that's a waste. So that's why I did a tutorial on how to draw it instead. Anyways, I'm almost done. There we go. I changed my mind. I don't want to color it yellow. I think I like it the way it is. So anyways, that's it. So if you want to do this project, pause the video now so you guys can see this little kind of alphabet of ancient hieroglyphs. And then I hope you guys do really good on this project. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.